For all of you who financed your education using federal student loans, even though Oakland Sam paused your interest payments starting in March 2020 due to the pandemic, financial expert Shani Curry with Purse Empowerment says if you can, you might want to start paying the piper. If you owe money on a federal student loan, those payments remain temporarily on hold, giving your bank account a vacation until January 2022. But person empowerment Shani Curry says in the long run, what you owe will be less if you say no thanks to Uncle Sam's pandemic repayment holiday. So you're paying interest on it every single day. So the fact that that is being delayed up until January 2022, it really gives you the opportunity to go ahead and hack that debt. So I'm totally for it if you can afford it. She also suggests you go online and calculate the debt you currently owe, coupled with the interest over time based on your interest rate. And what you'll notice is that the amount you owe, once interest is tacked on, can get out of control fast. And you can take advantage of on your federal loans not having to pay any interest. It will definitely position you to go ahead and knock out that principal a little bit faster. <sighs> Shawnee says by graduation, the average college or university student in the United States owes roughly $37,000 in student loan debt, and that's before you factor in that mounting interest. So yes, even though the federal government isn't requiring you to pay now, Shawnee says attack that student loan debt and make those repayments anyway, unless the pandemic left you unemployed or just financially unable to pay. So in the event that you do, you're not in the position to make any payments towards it, then this totally works out for you, right? So the fact that you don't have to look at that debt as it relates to your federal loans, it may be a little bit different with your private student loans, but when it comes to your federal student loans, not having to payment, having to make that payment is definitely a relief. Well, Shani also says if you do wait to resume or start those payments for the first time, contact your lender before next January to make sure everything is in order so there are no financial surprises. Roxy. All right, this is a big